Hello everybody and welcome, yes it is me, HJP Designs and today, well we have a bit of a mystery on our hands. <music> By mystery I mean the mystery box, yes it is that time again, for those who don't know what the mystery box is, it is a mystery box that I receive each month full of Doctor Who goodies. Now if you would like to buy one of these you can do. The link is in the description box below. You can get anything from Games of Thrones, Star Trek, Minions, Doctor Who, Torchwood, anything and everything. There's a lot of Marvel stuff on there as well, so like your Captain America, your um, Thor, your, you know, there's all sorts on there you can buy. So, like I said, I do the Doctor Who box, which comes once a month because I'm subscribed. You don't have to subscribe to it, you can just buy one off. The link is always in the description box below, so why not head over there and have a look what they've got. So, on with today's video, I will be looking at the stuff I got in the mystery box, but also pointing out when you do have a mystery box, you do tend to sometimes get things that you've already got. Hence, this. Now for those people who don't know what this is, this is a box that you would get in a shop that would sell these cards. And um, probably people probably don't know what these are now. These used to be like trading cards, if you know what I mean, like yeah, Pokemon cards. Like <clears throat> Pokemon cards, that's the only one I think of there. And you would collect these and tick them off on a poster and stick them in a TARDIS, which was basically a TARDIS to keep your cards nice and neat. So, I keep getting these, or I keep getting the single ones, and I've got loads of them by now. But, um, the price on that, £1.50, is not what they used to be. They used to be about a pound. But, they are quite good. I'll give them the due. So I would probably say about three out of five for this, mainly because I've got about three other boxes. The next item that I got, which I've already got, is this TARDIS purse. Um, if you go onto the Halloween one, which was last month, you'd be able to find my review about this. It's very good. I didn't even know you could get a TARDIS purse. It is, there we go, um, it's got paper in it and just to keep it, I think it's made out of leather, I'm not sure. But that's very good, so that's four out of five for that. So just slide it in. Um, and also you get things that are quite well, either new or I didn't know you could get. This comes from a collection which I've already got the TARDIS and the Dalek for, and that is a talking adipose. As you can see, it makes the cute little noises of an adipose. And do you know what? I will give it 5 out of 5. Not because of its cuteness, due to the fact it sounds like Maka Paka of the In the Night Garden. I mean, how strange is that? For those who don't know what the adipose is, why don't you head over to probably BBC iPlayer or Netflix or whatever you've got and find the Partners in Crime episode with David Tennant and Catherine Tate and you can find out what they are there. And to be honest, where they come from is a bit disgusting, but I think these are quite cute. The next item I have got is this um, toy set. I've got a nice toy set. Now back in the Halloween special I mentioned about this kind of uh, toy, and lo and behold I got one. I didn't know, but I just find it funny. And it is a Silurian Warrior. Plus, you get, he says, collect and build a Pandora CD cube case. You get one of the, 
black bit at the back, the um, walls of the Pandora free, and it is a CD. And the CD I have got is Doctor Who and the Cave Monsters Part 2. <coughs> now, I never finished my Pandora box off. I think I've got about one um, wall thing. I think that's about, I think I've only got one. But that is quite good, so I would give that four out of five. Um, because you get a figure, but you get a free CD as well. So what's not to like about that? The next item <coughs> are socks. Now these socks, I thought, oh, they're just any old socks. They're not actually. They're quite new because they have the new Doctor Who logo on and. They're the 13th Doctor colours. So, I'm wondering if that is off her shirt or is it off her scarf? What's the question? To know that they're new, they've got the Doctor Who thing on the back and it's the new TARDIS. TARDIS looks a bit lighter. So they're good. Um, I'll probably give them four out of five as well mainly because they're socks they're nothing special and then <coughs> I didn't even know you could get this this is a Doctor Who spatula I suppose it would go with the salad clipper things I got one time but that is a, a spatula now I think it's made of silicone, I don't really say, but it'd have to be pretty hard for it to pick up an egg, you know, but um, we will see. So that is, well, we'll give it four and a half because it is useful, but whether or not it will pick up a, an egg or whatever you're turning it over with is another question. And now it comes to the one I wasn't quite sure of, and that is this. Upside down. And that's this. Uh, I wasn't entirely sure what this was. There was no label, there was just a bit of dark blue ribbon about around it. So my thoughts on this, because you didn't get the label, I can guess what it is, I'll just take these out of it, it's a wash bag, or you could take it swimming and put your shampoo in it or whatever, but it is a wash bag, it's a bag you would take when you're travelling, but what you get with it is a coin purse with a Gallifreyan symbol on it, and a little um, bag, handbag, with I two hearts a doctor I, I love the doctor and um, that and it um, that's what was inside it which was a bit strange for, to me but um, yeah for its mysteriousness because I wasn't quite sure what it was when I looked at it I would give it four and a half but I, I didn't even know you could get a coin first so <clears throat> so that's that so that's and I'm not even entirely sure where you could get them from so if anybody knows out there where you can get them from just leave the link in the description uh, in the description in the comment boxes because I've never seen these before I know I have seen a wash bag with a TARDIS on before but not one like this so, and it's not. Hmm. It's fantastic, but no. Uh, I don't think the TARDIS picture is actually quite new. I think it's quite an old picture. But and now for the brown envelope. Now this time we have got two signatures. I'm not going to rate these out of five because there's no point because they're always so brilliant and today's signatures are is John Leave and Tom Baker 
So we'll do John Leave. I think I'm pronouncing that wrong, but John Leave. And that is this gentleman here. He played Cat, uh, Corporal Brenton <coughs> in Doctor Who. He used to work for York Unit. And this is in the era of the third Doctor. He used to work with the Brigadier. This is the Brigadier just here. This is John Leave just here. And the Brigadier's daughter, Kate Stewart, uh, was in Doctor Who, just to point out. And this is the Tom Baker one. Now, my question is to you, would you rather have a signature or a t-shirt? So what I'm going to do, and to, I'm going to basically say, give a like if you would like, if you would rather have a t-shirt, and leave a comment if you would like if, well, if you would rather have a signature, and if so, whose signature would you rather have? So, it could be anybody's, but I would rather have the signatures in my opinion, because they're nice and you can keep them. Uh, and t-shirts, I've got loads, my drawer is over full with t-shirts at the moment. But um, I would rather have the signatures, because there's something nice you can keep. And, if the actor does happen to pass on to the other side, it's just nice to have something to remember them by. That came out a bit weird, but it doesn't matter. And also, just one last thing. Did anybody see the 12th Doctor's... 12th Doctor's? 12th series Doctor Who trailer. Sorry, that came out completely different. Um, I did and I thought it was magnificent. So I did do a review video, so if you'd like to head over to my videos, you can find them. And you can find out what I said. And to be honest, I go on about the monsters, the guest stars, what I thought about it, and a couple of rumors. So, um, all you have to do is to stay tuned for more click on the bell give this video a like and I will see you next time with another mystery box so bye bye